What's going on, everybody? Avery Austin here, God Logic Apologetics. Uh, life in the building. And you guys see our familiar friend Bob here. Uh, I was chilling. I was minding my own business, laying on the couch, watching TV as life was passing me by. Uh, <laughs> until life hit me up and said, hey, man, I want to get destroyed by a Muslim. So uh, let me uh, set up a stream so he can do that. So here we go. We're setting up the stream here uh, because Bob challenged life on contradictions in the Quran and says that he can answer anything that life brings up. Is that right, Bob? All right. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Um, alhamdulillah. Uh, thank yep. you for giving me this opportunity again to come and speak. Avery is going to be the mediator. I suspect, or are you gonna be part of the debate? Nah, man, I'm letting I'm gonna let you cook this dude, man. I'm gonna let you cook this dude, <laughs> and you better not disappoint me. Okay, Bob, I got. I, inshallah, I got off, inshallah, I got off, I got I'll do I'll couch. do my best. I got off. This uh, couch. But yeah, um, inshallah. What, what I say is you know in the means. Quran. If you bring any um, wait, wait, argument before, against the Quran, before you, before you get into it, Bob, we we're not we're not there yet. We're not there. Yet. We're just doing the introduction okay, right now. All right. Yeah, so I see. See, I, I like that you're already ready, man. You already got your apron on and everything. You ready to cook. I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. So look, um, hold on. So somebody's asking, guys, th there is no <laughs> there is no official name. The name of the intro song is God Logic Intro. <laughs> That's it. My cousin sent me a beat. He put the vocals on it. And here we go. He made the God Logic intro. You know what I'm saying? And so, and then at the end, my other cousin, his brother, gave me the outro. You know, the oh my God, Logic. He gave me that. So um, that's it. They just sent me the files and, and custom made it for the YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are in here already, please hit that like button. Bob, tell them to hit the like button, Insha Yeshua. Sorry? Tell them, tell the people to hit the like button, man. Four. All right, all right, people who are watching, please um, uh, hit the like button, as Avery stated. But right. um, uh, hopefully you enjoy the debate. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So come on in, have a seat, and let's watch Life DDT get cooked. Uh, to support Life's channel, guys, is li is, I mean, it's Shadow's Life DDT. Um, he does D pretty, D pretty good. D D DDT, he's about to get DDT'd. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to his, go ahead and subscribe to this Kaffir's channel, man. Go ahead and subscribe to this Kaffir's channel. He has good good content, so subscribe to his channel. Uh, and hopefully, Bob blows up after this as well. Hopefully, Bob blows up. So hit that like button, guys. Let me know in the comment section where you're watching from. You always you already know that I love seeing the comments where you guys are watching from Kenya, from Scandinavia, from Sweden, Europe, London. Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I want to know where you guys are are, are uh, where you guys are watching from. All right. With that being said, um, who's what, what how I you know, this is really just a discussion. I'm just making sure nobody gets out of hand when really I don't we got nothing to worry about. Bob is a really nice guy. Uh, I just gotta really worry about life because he gets nervous, he and he starts to interrupt. So uh, we're gonna watch life, right? And uh so that's what it's gonna be. So Matter of fact, <clears throat> so Bob, yeah, go ahead and give us get us get us kicked off, man. You was about to quote a Quran verse. Okay, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Um, uh, this guy live, DTD. I just saw one of his videos on um, YouTube about contradictions in the Quran. So I thought, let me reach out to him and have a discussion with him, and then he responded. And then we had a discussion, I think yesterday we did, um, which was um, really good. And then all of a sudden today, it's not even planned. And then we started debating again. So I just want us to have a debate with him. What his problems with the Quran, the contradictions there. Now, I personally believe I can answer uh, most of the so-called contradictions Christians bring from the Quran. I personally believe I can answer them. There may be a few I don't know. And if I don't know those ones, I'll say I don't know. But um, alhamdulillah, most of them, the Christians bring forward, I do answer them. I do know them. Alhamdulillah. Thank God because of that, because of Allah's help, I'm able to answer it. So that's why I said to him, I'll challenge you more about 
your so-called um, contradictions of the Quran. So this is why I stand with him. All right, beautiful. Okay, so he has every answer to it. So life, um, you know, go ahead and uh, let's get this cooked off, man. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> basically Bob hit me up in the comment section, gave him my email, um, and, you know, he's been trying to reconcile this contradiction uh, with me. Now, what I don't understand is is a, th some of the distortion that he was doing with the verses. So um, I did a recap on our conversation, and he feels that I cut out uh, parts that um, he may have felt are strong, right? Uh, you know, he said I cut out his strong points. So I said, okay, well, let's just go live and we can't cut anything out. And so he was like, okay. And so now we're here. And so uh, I'll let Bob go ahead and jump it off, uh, uh, jump, you know, jump start it uh, because he feels that I basically uh, cut his conversation short or did, uh, you know, pace his strong point. So I would allow him to get his strong points out now so I can respond. So go ahead, Bob. So just to be clear, you guys had a prior conversation. Yes. Uh, it was recorded, but not live. And then you did some commentary on that conversation. And Bob is saying that you uh, mis basically misrepresented him by not putting in the strong points that help his position. Okay, so Bob, you're going yes. to, I guess you guys are revisiting this and yes. you guys are gonna hash yes. this out. All right, cool. All right, go ahead. Yeah, um, yesterday we were talking about um, uh, the story of Adam alayhi salam and uh, Iblis, where this gentleman said um, his life, um, his life DTD said um, uh, in the commandment for the angels to prostrate, it only mentioned the angels only, and Iblis was in part of it. So I said to him, no, Iblis is part of it, just because his name um, is not is not mentioned there doesn't mean he's not there because later in the later verses god confronted him and said to him what's your problem for not um following my commandment so iblis said to god because um, i'm better than uh, adam um adam uh adam was created from clay and i was created from fire so because of those statements i responded to him i said to him yes iblis was included in the commandment so he said to me no, he's not. That's the issue between me and him. Isn't that right, Life DTD? You can just call him Life for sure. Just call him Life. Oh, sorry, Life, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds about right so far. Okay, excellent, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I just want to uh, make my, my point because um, he obviously made a video about a couple of hours ago about uh, my discussion between me and him. I think that my strong points weren't mentioned there, so I just want to mention it live here so that um, people who are genuine, people who are looking for the truth can see it, you know, because for me, when I do these things, I want the viewers to see it so that they can know the truth. You know, there's many people out there who are looking for the truth. So um, part of my religion, it's our duty to share Islam to people, you know, so I will. I would like to see the viewers to, to see it, both both Muslims and Christians, atheists, Hindus, whatever, who, whoever's watching it, I'm happy for them to see it. It's like continue, Avery, or yeah, I think I think it's uh, upon life to to present, you know, to present the case. Then now, you know, the, you know, you you brought your your stuff, and where he. Yeah. Where he clearly lied about you in your in his video, so let's no, see no, here. I didn't. I didn't say he lied. I said he cut out some words. I didn't say he lied. I said yeah. there's some words that are not put there that I uh, was arguing against him. Well, I didn't well, clearly, say he lied, man. Clearly, please, yeah? clearly, clearly, I'm sorry. I, I'll say I'm saying he lied because clearly he he put in he took out the parts that destroyed yes. his position. Yeah, like, your point is pretty clear to me. So what you got to say, like? Yeah, I think Bob's a little nervous. I just gave him the floor to make his point, and he just kind of talked about how he would, wants to make his point. Go ahead, Bob. I'm waiting. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, um, yeah. You 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 mentioned that in uh, Allah commandments uh, when Allah gave the commands to the angels and Iblis to prostrate. You said Iblis is not part of the commandment. I said yes, he's part of it because 
in um in the same chapter, chapter eighteen, uh, Surah Al Kaf, Allah confronted Iblis and said to him, "Why did you not um, follow my commandment?" And then Iblis directly responded to God and said, "Because I'm better than him. You created me from fire, and you created him from clay." Which means Iblis was part of the commandment because he acknowledges that. That's why he said to God, I'm not listening to your command because I'm better than him. What, what you're trying to say is you're trying to use that ju just that verse because God mentioned the angels. Yeah. And then you want to make it look like, oh, God only spoke to the angels, which is not the case because on late on verses it's been clarified that Iblis was part of it. So it's up to him to respond now. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do this. Let's let's do this here. All right. I'm gonna Bob share Logic, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Logic, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's Bob Logic. <laughs> It's Bob. <laughs> Yo, hey, chill out, man. Chill out, man. <laughs> Yo, Bob. that's great. <laughs> that is insane. Wow. That's great. That's great. Bro, I can't even focus right now. Y'all got to chill, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Bob. Yeah. Now, you said Iblis was included in the command, right? Really yes, cool. was, yeah. Okay. So it says, surely we created you, then shaped you, then said to who? Carry on to the angels, yeah, carry on. The angels and, and who else? Iblis is part of it. Even though he's not mentioned there, he's part of it, bro. Okay. And where do you see where do you see Iblis being part of this here? Because, it, because in the following verses, I'll repeat it again. God confronted him and said to him, why did you not listen to me? And he said to him, because I'm better than him. That's it. No, 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 that's, no, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. It says, what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? What exactly, command? Yeah. Of okay. So what command of prostration do we have in 7-Eleven? The previous mm -hmm. verse, right? Mm -hmm. Which says Allah commanded the angels. Just because, just because he only Man, mentioned the angels, hang on, hang on. Just because he only mentioned the angels, it does not mean Iblis is not part of it, bro. You know, I don't know, I don't know where you get this idea from. Like, oh, Iblis is not there. The verse clearly states there, Iblis acknowledges that he was commanded. The only reason he did not um, prostrate was because he thinks he's better than Adam. You know, yeah, clearly Bob. there, it's showing he. Yeah, Bob, that's what I'm saying. So. If we're gonna we're, if we're gonna have this conversation again, you gotta understand that what I told you prior was that that is the error. The fact that Iblis is responding in this way is the error. The fact that Allah is talking to Iblis is the error. That's the error. So you're using the error to try to prove me wrong, and it, it it's not gonna work. So it says here, then shaped you, then said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So they all did but not Iblis, who refused to prostrate with the others, right? right? Then he says here, Allah says, what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? So then I asked you, where is this command? You said it's in the prior verse. Well, in the prior right. verse, the command is to the angels. We both agree, right? But then That's you right, go yeah. here. Yeah, but then you go here, you go to 12. And you go to Iblis's response where it says, he replied, I am better than he is. You created me from fire and him from clay. These are both problems for you because I already told you the writer or the narrator of a story can make a character say anything that they want, whether it's wrong or right. So we see here clear as day, Iblis shouldn't even be responding this way. So just because Iblis responds this way doesn't make this statement true. The fact that you're claiming that the angels and the jinn are included in this statement here when it clearly stops at the angels. Iblis is not in here. 
So you need to reconcile that instead of using the actual text to prove yourself right. It doesn't work. I'm using uh, yes. the text as an error. And you're trying to say the text proves me wrong when the text is the error. You got to use something no. else. No. Uh, basically, if I'm using uh, a story of the Quran when it comes to one story, it's not just one verse. I have to take the whole verses in context. Would you agree if you're so if you're reading the stories in the Bible, you have to take everything in context, right? Yeah. Oh, really quick. Uh, yes. So Islamic Defender. Uh, yeah, you can join. This isn't uh, just this isn't a one on one debate. Um, we have other contradictions we're going to pull up as well. Uh, any other Muslims want to join, feel free. Um, moderators post the uh, stream link in the chat. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, what I'm saying is, would you agree if you're reading uh, the stories in your or any anything that you read, you have to take everything in context, right? Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I'm using the context as an error. That's that's what I'm telling you, Bob. The context. It's not is though. Error. It's not though, bro. It's not. <laughs> this is the mistake you're making. You're saying that's an error. How is it an error when God has reconciled, yeah, the ver the previous verse and the following verse together, without even mentioning uh, Iblis in the uh, in the previous verse? All of it combined together gives you an idea that God commanded him. If in fact God says in there, "I commanded you," what stopped you from prostrating? Which means God commanded him in the previous verse. Just because his name was his name was mentioned there. It does not mean he's not um, he's not been commanded, because on the on the later verses God said, "What prevented you from me um, from my command?" So clearly, yeah, there God is saying, to, it, it, "Please, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I've commanded you to do something you refused." So you're contradicting yourself here, mate. And also, yeah. you're using you're saying those verse later can, that verse later cannot be uh, put together with this verse. Yes, yes, it can be because it's the same story. You know, so you you're making a massive mistake here, bro. Where um, yeah, you're sure, saying because, sure. because because just because um Iblis' name was in mention in the previous verse, you're saying oh no 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 that means Iblis was not part of it. Yes, it's part of it because the later verses confirms that you yourself know that. Yeah, next time make sure you don't interrupt Bob life. <laughs> so are you are you talking to me? No, I was talking to life for really interrupting. Ah, okay, you. okay, he, sorry. He, yeah, he, okay, yeah, no better, he better watch it. He better watch it. Yeah, I think I yeah, think I'm getting uh, nervous. Think... This barbecue. Uh, so I've... Bob, uh, Bob. So yeah, I hear what you're saying. So here's the problem. Like I already told you before, you're using the context to try to prove me wrong, and I'm using the context as an error. You're trying to convince me that because Iblis responds in this way, that he, you're saying because he understood that this uh, uh, command was for him that it's not a contradiction. I'm using the fact that he's even responding in that way that it's a contradiction. You how, understand what how? I'm saying? <laughs> okay, listen, listen, Bob. Uh, okay, let's use it in a real sense, right? Let's actually use it in a real sense here today, okay? Now, if I, listen, if I come to you, right? Yeah. Like I said, when, I, when we gave the example earlier, right? I said, if I have five girls in the gym and there's one boy with them right and i say all the girls go grab a football right and then i look at the boy and i tell the boy why didn't you go grab a football right and if he tells me because i'm better than them does that story make sense everybody in the chat does that story make sense does the boy responding to a claim that wasn't given to him make sense the proper way to have the boy respond is is say what you said to the girls to go grab a football not me so the fact that iblis is responding to this as if he was given a claim is also a problem you're using it backwards you're saying well iblis responded in the way to where it seems as if the claim was given to him so it's a non-contradiction no that is also an error as well and these entire these verses that we're using are problematic. The statements in them, that's what we're dissecting. These are errors, which is causing a contradiction because he can't be an angel and a jinn at the same time. So yeah, that's what you have to understand, Bob. You're not getting it. Okay. Um, as as you've used the example, yeah, 
and you yourself clearly stated the boy because the boy wasn't mentioned there yeah he would have said because he did not ask me to do it you yourself have contradicted yourself here right you've actually put yourself in a dangerous situation that you can't come back now okay, okay. now why did not iblis respond to god the same way as the boy <laughs> Yo, I can't. Bro, bro, I got you there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know? Okay. You okay. know, you know I got okay, you Bob, there, bro. Bob, you know I got Bob you. Logic. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, you got me. You got Bob Logic. Bob Logic. Listen, you. listen, Bob Logic. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Do you do you agree with me that writers can make textual errors? Not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not Allah. Yes, yes, no, human no, beings. Do, yeah. Allah. I'm not talking about Allah. Do you believe that writers can make textual errors? Yes, human beings. Yes, yes, accept that. There we go. That's why Iblis responded the way he responded. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't believe What's this, so man. Funny? I don't know. What's so funny? <laughs> Avery, What's Avery, so save funny? save your brother, please. Save him up, please. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save it's me, tough, bro. Man. Save me. I can't it's believe tough. this, man. I can't believe this. You yourself said to me the boy would have responded and said, Yeah, yeah, you did not command me. But Iblis did not say that. Iblis, in fact, said, Because I'm better than him, which means he acknowledges that he was being given commandment. Bro, you've destroyed yourself here, unfortunately, for you. And it's and it's very early, you know. So um, <laughs> it is very early. <laughs> hey. We just getting started, huh, Bob Logic? <laughs> yeah, Bob. He, he oh, bro. Oh, yet. bro. He ain't seen Let's nothing go. yet. Bob Come on Logic. with it, Bob. Hey, Bob, it's get Bob. your. Get your get Bob. <laughs> hey. Come on, Bob. Get your strong points out, man. Go ahead. All right, so uh, yeah, so, um, um, Iblis would have, would have responded and say, no, God, you did not command at me. But Iblis did not say that. He said, I, uh, he said, because I'm better than him, which means he knows he was part of the commandment, bro. You know, <laughs> in fact, God said to him, what stopped you from my commandment? So, wait, bro, wait, this is, this is a difficult quick. situation for you. You know, quick, life, but life, you can, you, want, uh, you can talk on, now. On, on, on. One second, one second. Uh, life, did you want... Islamic defender to come up now, or maybe I'm yeah, gonna... you can bring him up now, bro. Bob needs some help, man. Oh, okay. Bob needs some help, man. Uh, so I'll explain why it's not an error. Sure. All right. So first of all, um, wait, can you show the first first of all, like the first you're talking about, so I can yeah. speak on on the half of it? Yep. Go ahead, right there. <clears throat> you mean to zoom in or something? She too then said. Oh, no, wait. So, first of all, let's just first acknowledge that Iblis, he was like the only jinn among the angels. He was a high-ranking jinn, right? So, basically, even though he is not an angel, he dwelt among them. So, it says that, yeah, it, it even says prostrate before Adam. So, it applies that he commanded the angels to, and the, and the angels did prostrate, but Iblis did not prostrate. So okay. it says, yeah. So it says, surely we created you and then shaped you, then said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So so what can be said is that Allah is stating that he did tell the angels to prostrate before Adam. But this verse never says he never told Iblis. It just shows like a part of the quote he said. Exactly. So, I did, don't um, so once again, I'll do the same thing I did with Bob when he tried to do that same thing, right? So he tried I did, to say I didn't that. mention that. He, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's what I'm telling him. He's he tried to say, he tried. Oh my gosh, hey bro, I gotta stop looking at the comment section. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, bro. It's all right. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Yo, bro. no, somebody just took me out, bro. I'm not even gonna read it, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, dang, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bob said, uh, it he, he's he, you're okay. So you guys are basically using the same argument. He's saying, Bob said, where does it say angels only? <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> well, it doesn't really work in English, I guess, because you have to understand the grammatical structure too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Yo, Leaf O'Reilly. You are killing me, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So basically, what he so basically what he said is is this. It doesn't say it doesn't say angels only, right? Okay. Well, here I'll flip it on you. Where does it say the angels and the bliss? It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't have why? to because first of all, I'll explain why. So first of all. Like what I said is that Iblis, he dwelt among the angels. He's only one jinn. So basically Allah yeah. could count him among the angels, even though he's not. Like he's like a high ranking jinn. Wait, and hold on. How so? You don't know the story? No, no, no. You're saying you he can count him. He can count him as an angel. Where where are you get an No, 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 no. Not, not count him as an angel. I mean, like, he's like, he's worshiping a lot, like among the angels, like, you know, yeah. like in heaven, but he's not, but he's not like an angel himself. So he's, so Allah's saying, yes, I told the angels to prostrate, but Iblis did not prostrate. And Iblis, first of all, Iblis was a worshiper of Allah, but he, because of his arrogance, because he thought that Adam was made out of clay and he's made out of fire, he thought he was better, so he refused to worship him. Okay, but was yeah, he an angel? What? Can, what I, can I get in to help you out, bro? Um, yeah, help me out, bro. Hold on, simple as that. Islamic defender. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Was he please an angel? Yes or no? No, but it doesn't say he had to be an angel. It says, but I, it says that Allah told the angels and Iblis was among them. Not not like he's yeah. an angel, but he's among them. So let's say, for example, if you're among so who, some so who a group was of Allah people, speaking to? to the angels, but he, he says okay, he says that he told you. the angels this, but Iblis did not. So it also mentions that he could have told Iblis this. Because there are many verses that say Iblis is a jinn. Wait, 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 I don't wait, 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 Islamic defender, that's where you mess it. You said he could have? What do you mean? Allah could have thought? What are you talking about? Well, no, no, what, what, part um, of the quote, part what, of the quote. Um, what, what the brother meant is Allah may not have mentioned everything there because Allah may have just mentioned only a brief statement there. Yeah, you know what I mean, that's exactly. what the brother is talking about. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, so you're saying there's a missing, there's a missing statement here. No, what no, I'm saying Allah's is Allah, saying. Allah can reveal it how he wants. Allah can mention the statements how he wants, even yeah. though... Even though um, the statements is like is more than that, Allah could have cut it out and just mentioned the one He wants to mention. Right. So that's what I asked you. asked you. Are you saying? Hold, hold on, you guys. That's what I asked you. So are you saying that there's a missing statement here? You said He could cut it out if He wants. Okay, fine. That, that yeah. just just because you answer yes, there's a missing statement here doesn't mean that that's a problem. If there's a yeah. statement or something that He said and it's not here, it would be missing. So if there's a statement no. that he gave to right. Iblis that's not here. That doesn't mean that it had to be in there. It's just not there. It's a missing statement. He said it, but it just wasn't in the Quran. Are you saying that there's a statement that Allah made that's not in the Quran to Iblis? But, but, no. Um, you can't say why? Because so you're saying no. Like, no, no, no. I'll, I'll explain why because you, you guys aren't letting me finish. Okay. So like what I said, that the verse itself mentions that Iblis did not. So Allah saying he told the angels and the angels did. That's basically what he's saying. You have to understand how the grammatical structures will translate from Arabic to English. So first of all, because Arabic is a semantic language, it would not function the same way as English. So, yeah, yeah. right, Bob Logic? <laughs> Bob Logic, man, I can't believe you're calling me that, but I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, so the word, so, yeah, so the word used here is, has been uh, proven over and over and over again that it's talking about the angels. Period. Yes, but, yeah, but at least... Was living among them, you guys. But that doesn't. Okay, so if I live amongst a bunch of dogs, am I a dog? No, but no. that's not necessarily oh, the same thing because you aren't. Okay. No, I'll okay. explain why. Because so are you? Wait, 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 wait. One hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me one let second, me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Let me let me add on to that. You are equal to the dogs, so that's not the let same thing. Bruce was living among the angels. He worshipped with the angels. He was. Let him build. Let him build, fellas. Let him build. Let me add on to that. You guys keep trying to overexplain stuff. Yeah, so, okay, okay. so, so, so if I, so if I go, yeah. right, and the owner comes and says, all the dogs come eat your food. Am I supposed to go eat the food with the dogs? Well, well okay. If he's telling you to eat the food, if he's, if he's telling you to eat the food, no, 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 no. you can give your own food. 
No, no, Bro. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. No, no, no. It's not if I need to come eat the food. If he says, all the dogs, come eat your food, am I a human supposed to come eat the food? Yes, sir. First, okay, I... First of all, it doesn't I... say all the angels do it. It's saying that, yes, he told the angels to worship, uh, I mean, to prostrate before Adam. And because he told the, all the angels to prostrate before Adam, he doesn't necessarily say, I only told the angels. He said he turned to the angels, and but Iblis did not. So a lot just worded it this specific Why are you way. Adding? Why? Okay, so okay, so uh, he yeah, doesn't look at the say only. Thing. Okay, yeah. so he doesn't say he doesn't say only, but he also doesn't say that there was anybody else he was talking to. So why do you get to add what he didn't say, and and and, and you know what I'm saying, and then try to add other people in there when yeah, but there's bro, really no one else added in here. Can I say why it's right. but not Iblis, but not Iblis. And pull up the verse when it says the beast of the jinn. Unless you're saying this is a contradiction or something, it's not. Let's yeah, you're, using the, you're using the text once once again. Once let's again, spend a, let's spend a few yeah. minutes on this and then move to the next one. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So you're using the you're using the text uh, once again as a as an issue, right? I mean, you're using the text to prove your point when the text is the actual error. You can't use the text right, which is an error, to try to prove your point, right? I'm pointing out. I don't think you guys understand. I am pointing out that there is a writer's error, a narrator's error. If I'm pointing out that there is a writer and a narrator's error, that means that the text is the problem. You're using the text to try to refute me, and it, it just simply will not work. You can't tell me what Iblis said. You can't tell me how Iblis responded in order to prove me wrong. The fact that Iblis responded and what Allah says to Iblis is the actual problem. That's the problem itself. Oh, are you saying that the Quran? Oh my God! One yeah, say what? This one, this is a or a hadith talking about this. One, you, you one, last, one last point on this. Like yeah. let one Muslim respond to what he just said, and then we're moving on to the next topic. Oh, can I can I respond to this, please? Sure, Bob. Logic is your show, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Yeah. Um. Um, the reason why Iblis was included as part of the angels because um, he was also so pious and righteous, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even though, even though he's not an angel, he's been seen as an angel. Listen to me carefully, please. He's been given a rank almost because like it. because he was that righteous and pious. He's it was almost like sinless, sinless. Okay, so um, um, you said, oh yeah, um, he's not. Um, you've given an example. If if a man is among dogs, can a man be called a dog? Yes, a man can be called a dog among dogs if a man behaves like dogs. If exactly. he behaves like dogs, people can call him in that sense. But it doesn't mean he's a dog, bro. You know? So, right. you know, that's a that's an explanation. I know, yeah, you're trying to get, uh, you're trying to life. I know you're trying to get a point here, but you've been caught out already and you know it. Oh, so, well, you and, know. <laughs> and, it's still, and it's still early. And it's still early. And it's still early. We, we're only 30 minutes in, man. Humans are dogs, man, according to Muslims. No, I said <laughs> if the no, humans behave, behave like dogs, them. Avery. Right. Please don't misquote me. <laughs> his, his name's not Avery. So apparently, if you're amongst dogs and they call the dogs to go eat, you're going to go eat. All right. What's the next contradiction that you have? For the Muslims, life. Oh, wait a second, man. Wait, every. Can, can I say one thing before you go on? One thing about what? So basically, we'll come back to this later. But basically, man, I made a response to your other video about like the burdens or uh, judgments, like a, a fifty-second short. And oh, cool. uh, I'll show it to you later. Man. Cool. That's that. That should be fun. All right. Yeah, man. All right. So the next objection. What's the next isn't, objection? Isn't Islamic defender did he said he wanted to respond to something? Yeah, no. if you if you um want to see it now, but I said we'll move on to, to, and then we'll come back to that. I'll show it to you later, man. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So the next one is uh let's have fun with this one. This is one we were talking about earlier, uh, about a week ago. Um <clears throat> uh is there anyone that can bear the burdens of another in the Quran? Um, yes oh, and no. Wait, can I show you the a video or something? Okay. I'll send it, it to depends. you in the stream. Yard. Give me one second. In what, I actually made a uh, in what context? It depends in what context. For instance, um, if if a man commit a sin alone it's by himself, yeah. Can you hear me? I think Islamic defender needs to mute up. 
Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, if somebody commits a sin alone, by themselves alone, yeah, they bear the sin for themselves alone. Okay? But if you mislead others, you bear the sin because, yeah, you're leading other people astray without knowledge. Yes, That's yes, what that bro, I'm coming to that, to, bro. I'm yeah, coming yeah, to that, please. Yes, yeah, 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 right? Okay? The other one, the other one is, for instance, if you mislead people, like Iblis, the way Iblis is doing things, uh, Satan, okay? Iblis, if he misleads people, those people will, will carry the sin. Iblis will also carry the sin because Iblis is the one that is pushing them, tempting them to do these things. So you have to look at it in context, bro. That is not a contradiction. It's not. Yeah, it is a contradiction. Uh, read 3518 for me. 3518. Okay, one second. <clears throat> it's right there on the screen. So I can't I can't see it properly on the screen, mate. I'll use my own Quran. Sorry. Sure, okay, no yeah. Right. Um, do you want to read it out? Yeah, I'll read I'll read it. I'll read it out. So it okay, says okay, yeah. All right. So it says, no soul burdened with sin will bear the burden of another, period. And if a sin burdened soul cries for help with its burden, none of it will be carried even by a close relative. You can only warn those who stand in awe of their Lord without seeing him. An established prayer, whoever purifies themselves, they only do so for their own good and to Allah is the final return. So uh, what does it clearly say here? No soul. I want to ask you, does no soul mean every soul on earth? Okay. What? <laughs> yes or no? Is that, is that your question? Do you want to yeah. answer that, uh, Islamic Defender? Because um, uh, I'll, yeah, I answer. Answer that. I'll give you, I'll yeah. give you a chance to speak as well. Okay, wait, do you want to go, Bob, or me? I can answer this one. So okay, I'll... Yeah, go on, you yeah. Go on. Uh, okay, so basically, you guys are actually taking this out of context. Let me tell you why. So basically, what this verse is referring to is like basically like the concept of Jesus. You guys believe Jesus bore your sins, and he became <clears throat> a curse for you. Like, he basically suffered. So basically, what God's saying is that someone won't suffer for someone else's sin. He but asked moreover, a moreover what, what what this means is that the other verse you guys brought up about someone taking someone else's sins. If you miss someone up. without Wait, knowledge, is, without is Islamic, referring to Islamic, yeah. Islamic, before you before you continue, yeah. uh life asked a very specific yeah, question, what, you know. So if you got if you can deal with his specific question, because he's trying to build a point off of that. Well, it's a fallacy, so uh, uh, let's explain see. why I let's let's see, let's see, let's see. It's about two so different what? contexts. Okay. So and I just explained you, that. You guys like so, so, you let, so, let me fully so no soul so no soul doesn't mean no soul. No, it it means no soul, but it's referring to a specific uh, a specific yeah. context. Because yeah. you guys believe Jesus was innocent, he was sinless. He suffered your burdens with, on the cross. This has, nothing, this has nothing to do with Jesus. Just, okay, yeah, bro. it does. That's what the Muslim, Muslim defender. To, can I can I can I, can I respond to this, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respond, respond. Okay, because, so yeah. What um what the brother is saying is that um uh, in the sense like um no one can carry a weight. It's talking about in the sense people who are innocent, people who are not involved in the crime or in the sin. This is what where, God is where, talking where, about in that where sense. Does it, where does it qualify that? Because if you look at it in context, yeah, yeah, you will know it. like oh this is talking about the people who haven't pushed anyone, who have not encouraged anyone right, to right, commit show, a sin. Show, show, the, show the context and show that it's talking about those specific people. Show that. Because, um... How about you pull up the sphere? No, no, not the tough the you, said, okay. you said the context. You said the context will tell you that it's talking about a specific kind of people that have that are not leading people astray and yada yada. So please, yeah, show me from the... So show me from the context that it's not talking about, that it qualifies... The particular people it's talking about in thirty-five eighteen. So you want the full I mean, context? I don't, for that? I don't. I don't remember where it says in the verse in the Quran, but I'm sure it's Third, where it chapter, says chapter thirty-five eighteen. Read the verses before that. Read it after that, and tell me where, like, in the context, if it qualifies the type of person 
that it's talking about in verse 18. So read 15, 16, whatever you got to do. Go to chapter 35, read before 18, read after 18, and show me where it qualifies the person that it's talking about. Okay, give me give me a second. Because I'm sure there's verses in the Quran where it says that. Give me a second. I don't even know why I'm in this. No way. No way, brother. Uh, all logic. You can't go to the other verses. You have to stay right there in that context because that's what you're saying, yeah? You're saying that in that same uh, chapter, because if you're talking about context, yeah, then it's not in another surah and it's not in another uh, ayah. So you have to stay within that same context. You can't just jump from chapter to chapter. It has to be within that same ayah. So, <clears throat> so did you want to read the ayah before that one and then the one after? And then you could explain to us what the context is. Are you guys pulling up the verse now? I mean, it's up, to, it's up to you guys. You guys said in the context it's talking about somebody different, something different. Or it's, it qualifies the people that it talks about. So show us in the context that it does that. Well, I can it, show what, you that. What, okay, good. Because what life read so was yeah. a blanket statement. So in 3518, the verse you quoted, a part of it says, and if a sin is burdened, so cries for help with its burden. So this is basically talking about, and I'll explain to you why later. This is basically talking about something like uh, Jesus. Like you guys believe he suffered for you. And this is also talking about that. Because otherwise, the other verse is clearly talking about those who have been misled without knowledge and those who are intentionally misleading others. All right, so let me ask I you yeah, I got yeah. you. So it yeah. says that not even, a, so no, no burdened soul, that even if a burdened soul cries for help, not even a, a close relative can help them, right? Can I explain that? That's what it, that's so what it says, right? Basically, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not but asking like, for an explanation. I'm not asking for look, I'm not asking for an explanation. Let's deal with what the text says. So the text says that even a burdened soul, if they cry out for help, that none no one can help them. No one can take that burden off that soul, correct? Yeah, but like the other thing is already the other person's burden. If let's cast an example, listen. It says, if, for example, it says if you mislead a child, it is your burden because they they don't have knowledge and you have no, knowledge. No, you're going you're going away to another another verse that contradicts what we're reading. I'm talking yeah. about what we're reading. What we're reading says that not even if that burdened soul asks for help, can it receive help? Because it's that's just the rule. No burdened soul can bear the burdens of another, right? It just makes that blanket statement, right? I think nowhere, nowhere no, in there I think that's call. talking about another context, which I said. I know, I know you think that. That's why I'm asking, can you show me in the context of verse 18 that it qualifies the type of person that it's talking about? Give me one second. Let me pull up with the sphere. Just give a second, mate. I'm checking out. I'm sure. Why are you going to the top sphere? I mean, just explain to us from the ayah. I mean, this is what you were talking about, yeah? So just explain it to us. Because what you must know is No, because the sphere, we're just going in circles. That's what I mean. No, it's bitter. Because you're saying that the context says it. Well, just explain it to us from the context. This isn't hard. Just explain it. From the context of the verse. I thought I already explained it. No, what you did was is you gave me an interpretation. Let me read the verse like without. A, let me show you part. Of you gave me an interpretation, Islamic defender, without yeah. proving your interpretation yeah. from the text. That's what I'm saying. You're saying because I look. Don't think that we are misunderstanding. We we understand fully what you're saying. You're saying that one verse is talking about the context in which yeah. that person is a sinner. They didn't lead anyone astray, but that and and so like uh, or they, and they wasn't led astray, so their sin is on them. Uh, while the other context is talking about specifically yeah. that this person leads someone astray, so therefore they will be bearing the burdens of the person they misled. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we yeah. understand what you're saying. My question is, 
Can you show me that from the text that 3518 is talking about a specific situation rather than a blanket statement when it says no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another? Not even if that burdened soul asks for help, can he receive it? Can uh, uh, it receive help? So can you show me that that is talking about a specific qualification of people rather than a blanket overall statement? Okay, Avery, do you believe this statement I'm saying is true? Do you believe that in the, in the Quran? Do you believe this statement is true? What statement? Avery, uh, sorry, live here. Yeah, not, not you, Avery, sorry, live. Do you believe like this Quranic statement is true? And then I'll get back to you. So no, no. All right, so we let's okay. Right. So I mean, regardless of whether I think it's true or not, bro, I don't, really don't. It, it's we're talking about contradictions, not whether I think it's true or not. No, no, no. I, just I want you to like answer me, please, yeah, and then I'll get back to you, because to us, yeah, we don't need another verse in the Quran that will explicitly state that this is talking about certain people. Okay, <laughs> to us, um, to us, yeah, to us. Um, so I'll, say, I'll are... trust me. I'll trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. <laughs> trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to us, yeah. Um, the people who've committed sin by themselves alone, yeah, without any influence, you are responsible for your sins alone. Show okay? me that. Well, I don't have to show you that, bro. That, 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 that's that's oh, the problem yeah, here, bro. Yeah, that's, you want me to show not... it to you? I don't have to show it to you wrong. because Is this right Islamic... now? If, if I said if I said Jesus is God, what would you ask me? Prove well, it. I can always show it to you in your Bible. He's not God, but showing you I many. I didn't. I didn't ask that. I asked you if I said Jesus is God, what would you respond to me with? What would you ask me? Hey, bro. I'll, yes, I'll, I'll well, say to you. You ask you a verse, and you would show like, it to us. Oh, you'll you you ask me. But then to you would also you. use your interpretation you'll too. You'll ask me to no, show no, 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 no. You, you didn't let me finish. You'd use some of your interpretation too. <laughs> So some of it. Like so no, some here's, no here's, here's my point. Here's my point. My point yeah. is, is that I will, you will ask me to show you from the Bible where I get that from. So, yeah. and, and now imagine this. Imagine I said, and I responded to you, when you said, if you say, can you show me where Jesus is God in the Bible? And I respond to you with, I don't have to show you that. To us, he's God. Okay. Imagine, hey, imagine, but, but can imagine, I give an example of that? It, but is, that a, is that a fair response, Islamic Defender? Avery, if I, well, say, I, don't, if I say I don't have to show you. No, no, no. no. Can, can I just say one more thing? So <laughs> I you want to know if that's a fair response, and then go ahead with your explanation. Oh, okay. So okay. I would say, I would say that's a fair response from your point of view, and I would say probably not. <laughs> but listen, first, first of all, lying, first of all, can, can, can I say my point? First of all, <laughs> you know this how in the Gospel of Mark, yeah. when Jesus says he can forgive sins, and no one, and then the Pharisees say no one can what forgive have to sin for God anything? alone. What does this have you to do? You would say with that means he's God, right? So that, that's what, what it, I mean. What is, like what that's like the context I'm using. It's that the context. Okay, Avery. Avery. Oh or life, yeah? Yeah. What what do you think, yeah? If you guys go and commit crime alone by yourselves, yeah? Yeah. Is that your own crime? Or if somebody pushes you, encourages you to do it, yeah? Is that your own crime or also the, the person that's encouraging you, he's also part of it? Yeah, so um, if I what what I do is my crime. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. What about if somebody encourages you and push you to do it, like Satan or a friend of you or somebody you know is telling you go and commit a crime, like to murder someone or to rape somebody? Yeah, uh, is that you alone or the person that's telling you to do it as well is also part of it? Oh, so, so I answer the question. What I do is my crime. What someone else does is their crime. What someone what else does it? is their sin. What's what I do is my sin. My but sin is my sin. Someone else's sin yeah. is their sin. That's so answering your question. Encourage you, right? <laughs> what about the one that's encouraging you, though? Yeah, what about the one that's true. telling you, go on, that's come on, go sin. on, do it? I just answered it, Bob. That's their sin. Oh, there you go. That's also yours too, there you go. You because, in as well. because they Let's pushed you example. to do something without them doing nothing, they also mm -hmm. have a sin. That's what the Quran is talking about in that okay. sense. Okay, Mark, cool. Yes, no, been... So watch this. Okay, cool. So watch this. Since you, you think that that's what it's saying. All right, cool. <laughs> 
I'm glad that you said that because I, I and, and I want to point out before I open this screen up, I love how you went from, oh, I think the Quran says it in there. Let me go find it to just trust me. And now you're trying to make a case that <laughs> you, you know, know that, that, that you know what you're talking about now and you don't. So here, let me, let me, uh, let me just say this. Let me just show you this here. You said, that's what it's talking about, right? Well, okay. Well, why does it say this? Let them bear their burdens in full on the day of judgment, as well as some of the burdens of those they misled without knowledge. Notice wait, this, is this which chapter hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, Bob. I thought, I thought that, uh, I thought that they were, you know, carrying their own burdens. Why are they carrying somebody else's, bro? Well, it says their own, but it's also their own too, because. If they're misleading someone, they're intentionally okay. lying to someone. Exactly. They will cause exactly. them to perceive something in a different <laughs> way, causing them to walk on the path of corruption. Guys, okay, I'm glad that you said that as well. I'm, I'm glad you said that as well. Let me read 29 13. Yet they will certainly carry their own burdens as well as other burdens along with their own. Oh, wait. Didn't you just say, oh, yeah, that was their own? That was their, well, own, right? their own too. So why are they carrying so others it. on the other side? Why are they carrying others on the side of their own? If because they misled, ah, the one, they misled the other. This people. is the one I was looking for, mate. So oh, it, it is there, mate. It is there. That's wait, the wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the may I ask you guys a question? <laughs> wait, can, can I say something for one second? <laughs> the so one that you have a question. Position, that's the one you was looking for. <laughs> All right, bro. Wait, live. Can I say something? I don't I don't remember everything in the Quran, mate. Okay. And I, I don't write things down like you guys, okay? You know what? Um, I don't write everything. I don't, I don't sure, have I was sure it was we, we don't write. It's 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 in our heart, bro. That's the miracle. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wait, how you do this? Wait. How you do that? Life, you Avery, something? Avery, you're on the way of becoming a Muslim then, all right? Because you're a Hafiz. <laughs> I, I'm a I am a Hafiz, but I'm an original Hafiz. I'm an I, I'm an Hafiz of the original Quran, not the tampered with one. Okay. So, Avery, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this out, yeah. You gotta talk those, to the guy. Those who disbelieve say to the believers, follow our way and we will bear the weight of your mistakes. Now listen to this in context. They will not bear the weight of a single one of their mistakes. Truly, they are liars. They will bear their own burdens and other burdens together with their own. There you go. On the day of rising, there will be question about what they have invented. You just so, read a contradiction. Um, clearly, just there is stating you, there. Um, Bob, just expose yourself, bro. Uh, Bob, yes. you, just, you said something wrong, man. That's not the right interpretation of that, bro. No, 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 don't help him. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, let him read. Let him read, Bob. Let him okay, okay. Yo, yo, let me let me um thing. let me read it out again, please. All right. <laughs> Wait, he's let doing me, what let me read it out again. He's, he's, he's doing what is this one? Telling you about earlier about food that they were creating bitter. He said he can't get this though. Wait, it's not the Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not the defender. What is Bob doing? He's destroying himself because he's saying like the wrong context again and again. Like, I just said the right context, man. I said the right context. I said, but basically, if, if you mislead, if, I have a question. If you mislead someone, do you think you own that part of the sin too? You asking us or Bob? Uh, I'm asking you. According according to the Quran. Uh, no, 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 not according to the Quran. According to like your own belief. Because like, we're talking belief. about we're, probably, we're talking about the Quran, but okay. No, no, I know, I know, but we're gonna come back to the Quran. That's my point. We'll okay. come back to. It. We, we right, exactly. sure. Right, no. sure, no problem. You can't so, go outside of the Quran. That's what he's saying. You can't just yeah. say outside of the Quran because because in the Quran it says that if you're gonna say that it doesn't say that, then you have to prove it from the ayah. If it's not in the ayah, then you have then you are obliged to believe it. Yeah. So you can't ask us what we believe. Because if it was anything else, yeah, you would just say, well, the Quran says this, the Quran says that, the Quran says Jesus is not God, but you Christians believe that. So no, you need to stick to what the Quran actually says. If it doesn't say that, then you can't go with some obscene, weird interpretation of what it's saying. So, uh, yeah, man, um, 
This this is a tough one, guys. I, I don't see how you guys reconcile this. It's, I mean, especially Bob, he just really. He, well, he I really, told you to reconcile of it, but you said that, that's, that's my own interpretation. Right? Right? So so hold on, so hold on, so hold on. Let's let's try to let's try to deal with this, guys. I mean, I, I honestly like we're all humans. We're all humans. We all have we all have sense. We all can think. You know, we're all we're all here with our minds, okay? So one verse says in the verse in 29, 12, it says that that they will not bear anyone else's burdens at all, period. They will bear the full burden of their own, right? Then the next verse says that they will bear their own burdens and some of the burdens of others. Yeah. Right? Guys, that that's literally a contradiction. It cannot be both, man. Like a contradiction is something that cannot be a and non a at the same time. So, guys, l- l- work with me here. I- I'm-, I'm trying to work. I'm look. I I took the time and I I understood what I understand the explanations of the verses, but let's look at the the text verbatim. They, it's a contradiction. How do y'all? How do y'all explain that? It says, <clears throat> one, they will bear their own burdens in full. The next verse says they'll bear their they bear their own burdens and the burdens of others. Well, it says they will bear their own bear um their own their own sins in full. But it wait, but it also says that they will bear the other ones too. So their right. own in full means like their own sin, but their own sin elevated by the other person's sin. No, but no, that's also elevated. talking about the people they misled, like the other verse. No, 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 no. So they, yes, that is talking about people they misled. True, but here's the here's the particular part. It says that they will bear their own burdens in full, and will bear the burdens of others, some of others. Okay, so they have their own burdens, and then they also have other people's burdens that they will be bearing, right? That they've misled. Yeah. Because so it's also their sin too. So their own sins and the sins of others will be will will be upon them. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. While the other, so while the other says that you cannot bear the burdens of others at all. It literally says no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of, a, of another. No, Period. this is um, Avery. Avery. On, this let, is let, talking let about, about- let Islamic defend so, you. You gave so yours. It's talking about what it's talking about. The other verse. Wait. So you're talking about one verse right now, right? Two verses in the same uh, chapter, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then, thirty-five, eighteen. So basically, what it's saying, the first part of the verse is saying, but people are accountable for their own things, their own things, what they do, their own sins. So someone can't save someone else. Let's say if someone does something and the other person did not do that thing. That person cannot, like, like, let's say someone does something, they steal something, right? The other person cannot be accountable for that thing. Exactly. But if I encourage someone to steal something, I also, I also I bear that. that. Am I wrong yeah. by that? That's what the so, verse is talking about, right? So, so, it, right, right. So, <laughs> it's a verse. Right, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. So, that's the, that's the contradiction. It's that's saying, not, it's not okay. a contradiction. So, okay, um, okay. So, so tell, do you know what is a contradiction? Tell me what a contradiction is. Two words, two things against each other, but that's not against each other. You can say I can't hear you. So, so two words are supposed to be the same, but they differ. uh, If the man is talking, oh, okay, 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 over talk him. So what I said is contradiction is two things against each other, but that's not against each other. Like what I said, okay. if you steal you, something, you, you don't, you someone don't else that did not that. steal something cannot get that blame. But if I encourage you someone to steal something, uh-huh. I get that blame too. Got you. So, so, yeah. so if if you encourage someone to steal something yeah. and they go and steal something, yeah, that action of stealing is placed on you for encouraging them to go steal something no no right? not 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 just you but not just you you also get a part of it too in the same way i just, so I just said in that. the verse it says they will bear just some follow, of just, follow, just follow me yeah, just follow yeah just follow finish me. yeah because they're, they're not going to bear all the people's burdens they're only going to bear the burdens of the the actions that they misled them to do that's what some of them <laughs> means like this, if, this, they this, if they, this, if they didn't if they didn't encourage them to do other things but they encouraged them to do uh, uh, you this know, particular, particular thing. thing then yes. those particular things is what's going to be added unto them. We on the same page? 
Wait a sec. I know what you're going to do. You're going to say that verse says in full. What it means in full is no, that that's specific not, that's action. No, that's not what man. I'm saying at all. That's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, try to, don't try to do that, man. I'm got logic. Don't try to do that. I'm yeah, saying. Let's, let's do that. Okay. I'm let's saying, see what happens. Good, good. So I'm saying that when it says some of their burdens, it's going, it's talking about those particular actions that they misled them to do, that the person misled them to do. Those particular actions will be placed onto the person who misled them to do those things. Does that make sense? Wait, you repeat that part again? I, I didn't hear so, it says, so the verse says that they will bear their own burdens and some of the burdens of those they misled, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the some are talking about the actions that the, per, that, let's say me. I'm He's talking about in the sense of no, some, no, some sins. No, I, I know. I, some exactly, of the sins. exactly. So I'm only taking the burdens of the sins that I misled them to do, not the sins that they did on their own. Only the sins yes. that I misled them to do will be placed yes, on exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Make sense, uh, Islamic Defender? Yeah, that's what I said. And that's what Bob okay, said cool. too. All right. So if now the sins that they committed because of me will be placed onto me, I'm going to be taking those sins because I encouraged them, taught them, or whatever, to go and do that. So they did it because yeah. of me. I'm the source of it. But so yeah, they also they get did, a part of it too, some of it. Yeah. No, no problem. But their yeah. action that they did, that I led them to do, I'm, yeah. going to be getting, I'm going to be responsible for their action. Even though I didn't do it, I, let, I led them to do it, and so therefore I'm going to take the punishment for that. Yes, the ones the yeah, ones you encourage. Tell someone to rob yeah. a bank if you encourage them. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yes, if they go rob the bank, if I teach them to rob the bank and they rob yeah. the bank, I'm going to be punished for them robbing the bank. Yeah, yeah, but if right. you, yeah, okay. Well, just, yeah, so yeah. now the verse says the thirty five eighteen and others says that no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another. Period. It doesn't qualify it. <laughs> It's a blanket statement. No, no bearer of no, burden. Hey, I said so they're talking burden. about the concept of yeah. like di someone dying for someone's sins, like what you okay. said. Okay, so, so if you're saying that I'm taking it out of context, I want you to show me how. <laughs> That's I what we've really, been asking. I, I, said, I said a part of it. Let me just pull up the verse again. Right, right go, yeah, go to 3518. Go to 3518 and show me how. I'm using that out of context when it says no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another, even if that burdened soul asks for help, not even a close relative can help them. Show me how I'm using that out of context, please. Okay, okay, okay. Come, okay. On. Okay. come on. So it's that, that, and... what what you're saying, yeah, doesn't make any sense at all. Because that verse that you're talking about, no burden can have another person's burden, that's talking about in the sense. If the person did not encourage you, did not Show do nothing to you. Show me that. Yeah, but this verse here, 29, uh, 12. Yeah. Show me that 35, 18 is talking about a specific people. It doesn't have to, Avery. It I doesn't know. have to. And when you say that, you have disqualified have yourself to. from the discussion. As uh, long as you're, under, you're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> My internet's kind of slow. Give me like, like two seconds. I'm gonna pull it up. So text, it says, man. "No soul." Thirty-five eighteen. No soul. Thirty-five eighteen. But wait, wait, wait. So thirty-five eighteen is not very clear. But there's another verse that says basically the same thing. It's like not it's clear. not like the two other verses. Okay, can I say it? Not clear. Whoa! It's not Are you what? Guys you guys going to bring up the contradiction about how the Quran is supposed to be clear? And yeah, it's not a contradiction. I'll say why. So, 1625, because, you know, 3518 does not have context. This is the upper verse I was technically referring to. So, I'm, verse, wait, time out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I quoted yeah. 3518. Yeah. So, no, I, said, I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. 1625. Well done. Well done, Bob, bro. Bob Logic. Bob Logic. Yeah. You're on hold. As soon oh, as you okay, said, okay. as soon All as right. you said, I don't have to show you this. 
you have now put yourself in the timeout in the timeout. Zone. No, that's not what I meant. I saw <laughs> anyway, I, I, I no, 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 not you, Islamic defender. That was Bob Logic. Bob oh, Logic. Oh, oh, I, I let him I let him speak. speak. Let him speak. So because so Islamic defender is trying to engage with this directly, and I appreciate that. So <laughs> let let Islamic defender cook. So show thirty five eighteen is what I quoted. No yeah. bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another, not even if they ask for help. Show me how I'm using that out of context, that that is specific to a specific type of situation and not a blanket statement regarding all souls that have burdens. Can I tell you why? So basically, the two other verses, um, the other one I told you about, when I said it's a specific context, that one isn't very explicit. But there's another verse that says the same thing, but it says it in more context. So 6.164 of the Quran says, say, is it other than Allah, I should desire as Lord. Okay, let me just skip that. It says, and every soul earns not blame except against itself and no bearer of burdens will bear against burden. But it says that unless that this person uh, does something, then they won't get the blame, like this specific thing. But then read it out. Wait, wait, read it out. Read the verse. I'm very familiar okay. with that verse. Read it out in full. Watch. Okay. 6164. You there? Read it in read it out loud in full, not in your head. <laughs> no, I think uh, you good, uh, Islamic defender. Your connection good? Yeah, this verse doesn't specifically say deeper. I couldn't find a specific verse. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Um, what I'm saying, bro, is that everywhere you go, whenever the Quran mentions that no bearer burdens can bear the burdens of another, it's a blanket statement. Okay, but go it's, launch it. Yeah, every yeah, single time. Oh, no, yeah, me, sure you... I, give me, give me like thirty seconds, guys. Let me thirty yeah. seconds to, to to flush this out. Everywhere you go, oh. it says bear no bearer burdens can bear the burdens of another. It's a blanket statement. It never qualifies it ever. It's a blanket yeah. statement, right? But then yeah. the problem yeah. is, is yeah. when you go to the other verses that we talked about six twenty sixteen twenty five twenty nine uh you know thirteen and whatnot. Where it says that, well, actually, a bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another if they misled them. So they yeah. will be bearing some of those burdens. So yeah. that's where the contradiction is. It's either no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another, or there are bearer of burdens that can bear some burdens of another. It oh, can't be yeah, one. But what I, <laughs> like what me and Bob were saying, we were saying that's like a, like, even though the verse doesn't say it specifically, that, that's what it seems like it's saying because if someone can call out for their family members, like that's probably saying that because they did not do that specific thing. That's what, exactly. that's, that's, what you read, that's you reading into the text. It does not say that. See, notice how you to so no, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, and then and then we can go and move on to another one. But I want I want you guys to see what just happened here. You said you you had to resort to well, like it's it, it can it, it seems like the verse that's what the verse is talking about. So now that is you, isoge uh, this is eisegesis, when you read into the text instead of exegeting the text, taking out what the text says. You're reading into the text and saying, oh, well, it, it seems like it's saying that. Well, no, that's not. So if you're saying that it seems like it says that and that's your argument, well, I, I, I'm, I'm perfectly valid in holding my position that it's simply, that I'm going with the explicit statement, no bearer of burdens could bear the burdens of another, period. <laughs> I, I, I'm perfectly valid in that because I'm but, not going with what yeah. it seems like. I'm going with what so, it says. Avery, you but can't take, you can't take 1625 yeah. and reconcile them. 1625 yeah. and reconcile it with what? With the other verse that says no bearer can uh, bear another person's burden. You can't you can't take them and put them together and reconcile them, can't you? For you to no. understand the context no. of it. No, there's no there's no reconciliation. Oh, no my oh my god! Oh my god! That's why there's a the contradiction. Other, the other verse, the other verse, where it says no, 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 no burden can bear another person's burden, is talking about in the sense of the ones who have not encouraged you to do a so, sin. Uh, again, Bob, logic. Stop telling me that and show me that. See, this Bob, is one of the. You, have one, have to, you yourself is, have acknowledged stop, that. Stop, you stop, said stop, yes, stop, Bob, 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 logic. This is what I learned in theater class. 
and coming up and doing acting and things of this nature. One of the number one rules in, in storytelling is to show, not tell, right? And that's what I like. I, I really love showers and not tellers. Yeah, but so can you use Can you use your Instead of you telling me. Wait what a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Show me. Wait, got logic. Wait, 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 wait. About this context. You know how you said because that verse doesn't specifically say it. Um, you know, this might be off topic, but you remember when uh oh my God, what's the name bro. Isaiah? You said because 42 and 22. That's basically what you're doing. But this one actually is specific. But no. that's what we're trying to say. I, I so here's my, what I'm saying. I showed verses where uh <laughs> that allow for my interpretation, where Ahaziah and is kidnapped by, by by the Philistines and Arabians and all this kind of stuff. I gave verses for that that leads to oh, okay, so uh, it's possible they ruled two times at 22 and 42. I have verses for that. I'm asking for a verse in the context of bearing the burdens of, of, of another. I mean, I'm sorry, no bearer burdens can bear the burdens of another, that that context is talking about a specific group of people, a specific oh situation. Oh my God. <laughs> but okay, but <laughs> yes, but the biblical scholars do not agree with you. That's the thing. When okay. you, like uh, I know you said you nope. showed verses with all due respect, man, but like I was wondering why they did not agree with you. Like unless they don't know the Bible. I, look, it, it's, it, look, it's, it's very possible that I, I, I it's possible I'm wrong. It's, po yeah. it's possible that my understanding of that is not truly the understanding. I could be wrong. So what? How does this help yeah. you? I know, but like the same thing you're saying, because if it's a word of God, it cannot have contradiction. So that's what I'm trying to say. So how does this oh help? Oh my you? God, Avery, you yourself, you're on timeout. Bob, Bob, you're on timeout. Exactly right. to see you. Defender, how does this help you? So you're saying because I'm reading into it, okay. but I'm saying because I'm not saying you're reading into it, but I'm saying that what I don't get is like how the biblical scholars don't agree with you. And if what we apply the same how logic, does that help you? How does that help you with this? It. It doesn't technically, but I'm just saying for okay, example. so this is a waste of time. Come on, man. Yeah, can we move on to another topic? Not not this one, man. We're just going in circles for this. <laughs> so did we win? No, never. Wait. I just want to, before we move on, uh, y'all don't got to respond to this. I just wanted to add on to. I want to know uh, if we won. Did we win on the defender? Of course we won. <laughs> look, we win? look at. Let him answer. You never, you never defeat the Quran. Never. Because I'm a defender. Did we win in this one? We won, man. Still, uh, God logic. Can I send we you won, a link man. to a video, man? Sure, but did we, did we win in, in this particular discussion? Did we win this one? Well, it's yesterday's discussion. I, I didn't get to speak, but like, it's it's my response. If you, you want to see today. it. Did we, did, we, did the Christians win today or did you win? <laughs> what? Did we win in this discussion about the bearer burdens or did you win? Um, I would won. say I would say we won, but you know you're not letting us show you the context <laughs> in the same way. Like no, we, no, we showed the no, no, no. What I mean is, we showed we showed the context, context, the context the but that verse specifically because it doesn't have a specific wording. You guys are rejecting it. That's what I'm trying to say. No, what I'm look, I'm giving you leeway. I'm saying that you can use the verses prior or even after. Show me in the context because you said I took it out of context. So show me how I'm wrong based on the content. That's what I did. That's what I asked. And I got Bob saying, I don't have to show you that, Avery. I don't have to show you that logic. That's what he said. So he's out. No, I Maybe. said, Avery, I said, yeah, it's there, but I can't remember where it is. So I don't have to show it yeah, to you. Right. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Like, no, take us, take us any, on another right. one, How does that make it any better? Uh, so, yeah. So before we move on to, to the next one. Um, here <laughs> you guys were saying something about it not being you know for each person or something like that right this is literally Tafsir Ibn Kathir he holds more weight than you guys okay it says mankind is in need of Allah and each person will carry his own let's leave that right there own burdens on the day of resurrection own each person one each person 
will carry his own burdens on the day of resurrection. You know what verse he's talking about? The exact verse you guys were saying, or uh, Islamic Defender was saying is, uh, you know, uh, what, what does he say? Not clear, right? Which contradicts his Quran uh, in, in itself. 3518, no soul burdened with sin will bear the burden of another. It's clear as day. Ibn Kathir understood that this is one specific statement and it's talking about souls, period. No soul. That's no soul. It's clear as day. No soul means no soul. So if we go to 2913 and it says someone else will carry their own burdens as well as other burdens along with their own, that's not one person carrying his own. That's one person carrying his own as well as other burdens along with their own. That is a pure contradiction, bro. So, I mean, we can move to the next one. I don't know how you guys think that you didn't lose this, but this is a pure contradiction, bro. It's, I, this is honestly... I, I think we can win the next one. This I, is I sent you a link in, in the stream yard, guys. Yeah, yeah, this is honestly clearer than the Iblis and Angel one, to be honest. This is the most clearest contradiction ever. But, uh, yeah, we there's can move another, to the next there's one. A, there's another super clear one. There's another super clear one. How, why do I keep... I like this. I like this. You guys I, I kind of like it too, though. I, I'm not gonna lie. I like it too, though. This is you, because you're the host, man. It's your show, so I like it. No, well, you're the one uh, doing the debating, man. You the <laughs> you you started the stream and everything, man. Whatever. All right, all right, man. All right, man. All right. There you go. All right, so uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm the host, <laughs> I guess. All right, so uh, the next contradiction, guys. The next contradiction. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, just a little nugget. On the uh, because you said something about this, it's it's talking directly against this idea that Jesus can die for our sins. Um, so you notice how it says that no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another Islamic defender, yeah. But the thing is, but uh, technically, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, you're, but you're, technically, you're someone is deceiving someone and misleads someone, it's no, technically no, their no, own no, burden no, in the first you're place, jumping, right? You're jumping, you're jumping, no, focus, no, on what I, focus yeah. what I asked you. Yeah. You, you, so you notice how it says that no bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another, right? Like if someone is bearing burdens, they themselves can't bear another's burdens because they're a burden. They bear burdens themselves. Right? Yeah, but it, I'm saying if someone misses, uh, their that's, own that's, burden. Let's that's just move on to another topic. Hold on, Bob. Yeah, can we, can we move on? By the way, no, got logic. Um, no, because I want to hold, 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 yeah. hold on, dude, man. Hold yeah. on. Because I'm, I'm actually getting somewhere. Yeah. So, according to Christians, does Jesus bear burdens? Does he have his well, own yeah, burdens actually, that he bears? Because it says in Corinthians, so, 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 that so he became Jesus a curse a, for um for who? because anyone who's hanged on a pole so is he, he cursed, became, and he Jesus became, became a, a curse for you, is what you believe for, for us, right? Okay, so so was Jesus himself? Did he bear his own sins? Did he bear? Did he have any sins to bear himself? No, but I'm just saying, man, because yeah, you that's, believe that's that. The point. He, well, that's the point. Yeah. So because Jesus does not is not a bearer of burdens himself, this verse in 3518 or and none of those verses in the Quran, none of those verses apply to Jesus because Jesus is without burdens. So he actually can bear the burdens of another. Can I see why that's more unjust in a way? What? Can I see why that's more unjust in a way? Why that? I'm just saying. Why why that's because you, you believe Jesus. I said. No, I said no, why that's more it, unjust. I'm not. We're not talking about if it's unjust or just. That's oh, not okay. the point. I, I thought the, you, man, I didn't po get that. My point is, is yeah. that you you said that this verse was talking about Christians' belief in Jesus and Him dying for our sins. You understand? You said that that applies to yeah, Jesus. But, so I'm saying yeah, that that doesn't say, apply yeah, to Jesus because that. He was without burdens. Do you get it? Yeah. So this does this doesn't apply to Jesus. Jesus still he can still bear burdens because he's not a he doesn't have any burdens himself. He only bears yeah. I use it as an example, but it can also um apply to like the polyistic painting paintings and everything. You said you said also like it, no it does it doesn't apply to Jesus at all. They can't because he's sinless. You understand? Can we move on because we're going in circles with this. Man. We're not yeah. even going in circles. I'm just waiting for you to get the point. Do you get? Yeah, the I, I know. I said that. I said yeah. I said okay. we get that. All right, cool. All right, life. What's the next contradiction? 
Uh, that was two for me. Um, um, I mean, unless you want to do the uh, is the is the is the Quran clear? Maybe Eight Man Podcast got one. Yeah, yeah. Somebody else can uh, do one. Yeah, we did that yesterday, right? Yeah, I did. Why? Why don't you can get you your own it? contradictions? Yeah, that's yeah because you guys don't do your own contradictions, don't you? You guys ignore mm-hmm. that. That's why I think it's kind of hypocritical because if we're talking about um. Contradiction in the Quran. We also have to talk about the ones in the Bible. When you say the Quran's false because of contradiction, that means the Bible's also false because of contradictions. We actually never said that. Actually, your book says that. No, I know, but I'm saying that basically. Well, you, you basically would apply to the same standard, would you not? No, we don't. We don't because accept contradictions well, in the Quran. Do, do, we don't do, do, you, do you, you guys do, think? Do you think that? Uh, do you think that exactly? So we're going with your criteria, and we're addressing your criteria. Do you think that a that a phone book is is from God? A phone book? Yeah. No. Why would a phone book be from God? Because it doesn't have any contradictions. Well, <laughs> the phone book's not talking about theology all over. So what? So, I'm, so I'm what? just saying, man. That's not really a, a, a so, very good comparison. You you so, could say a history book. So that's so, better this what, so this is what we're saying. A a a book that has that has contradictions. Or a book that does not have contradictions does not uh, does not make it inspired or divine in any sense, any way at all. Yeah, but okay. no, I agree. True, but it's saying it's saying had the book. Yeah, it's talking about the Quran itself here. Talking about the book, the Quran had it been from somewhere else. Yeah, older than Allah. Yeah. It, it would, would have been have... a contradiction. No, so, it, it's so, talking so, about. So, so, what's the antecedent to that? What is so? If it, if it, what's the implication? If this book had contradictions, then that's proof that it's not from God. So, what's right, the yeah. what's what's the other way around? If this book does not have any contradictions, then that's proof that it is from God, right? The verse is talking to. Uh, to the Quran only, spe- explicitly to the, to the Quran no, only. No, it makes a claim. It says, if this book, if this book is not from Allah, mm-hmm. then you will find in it many contradictions. So you reverse the claim. If this book has no contradictions, then it's from Allah. <laughs> so a phone book is from Allah. My fourth grade algebra book is from Allah. They, those books have no contradictions. You know, Avery, you actually have to, if you're, because the verse actually says, ikhtalaf and kathir. So actually, what you guys are doing is, is incredibly important because you're finding many contradictions. So whatever contradiction that you go to next, it would be three. I mean, I don't know, according to these blocks on stage, how many is many for them. But, um, yeah, it's actually quite funny. Hello? Are you still there, guys? Yeah, we're still here, man. Uh, Amen Podcast, do you have a contradiction you want to share with them? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Uh, if you go to Surah 3, verse uh, 7... And juxtapose it with Sarah 12, verse 111. And I'm mm-hmm. curious as to what they say about that. All right, guys. Uh, Life, you're still here, man. You can't, you can't, you can't check out now. You're here for a long <laughs> run. Man. All right, what we doing, man? I, I feel like I feel like we won already, man. I feel like I feel like uh they got their Muslim brain on. They got their Muslim brain on too much, man. It's it's, it's tough. You know, it's, it's hard to seep through that Muslim brain, bro. You got to remove that first, and then we'll be able to have a real conversation. But right now, it's kind of like I feel like you guys are are forced to give the most terrible responses because you're trying to be, you know, right. But I mean, if we're honest about the text, I mean, we've showed you two clear contradictions, um, and you guys are just not. You guys are just not, you know, willing to uh, see it for what it is. You're lying. Guys, about wait, um, because, guys. By, by the way, you don't, you don't, is that because you don't agree with it? That's why you say that. No, yeah. it's not. I don't agree with it. It's clear as day. That's why. 
<laughs> it's not a problem. I've given you my explanations of the your false your false contradictions you claim about Iblis and that. And then me and um uh, Islamic with Defender no, with no proof, we answered though. we answered the second one as well. We've given you reasonable we're giving you rational answers, we're giving you Evidence. <laughs> your, 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 responses, your responses are based on assumption. Like on, on, on both of them, Bob, on the first one, you gave an assumption. Why? Why? Because you assume that there was something that was said to Iblis. False. Why? Because we can't read it in the text, which would make it an assumption. You assume that something is happening on the back end, but we can't prove that. Why? Because it's just not there. Now, on the second one, on the second contradiction, you literally failed to give any evidence of what you're even talking about. We yeah. gave you textual evidence of every single thing that we're talking about. And all you did was say, I think it's in the Quran. Let me go find it. And then you couldn't find it and said, just trust me. So I, what, are you, what are you talking about? There's nothing to disagree with, bro. You're just wrong. It's okay. Avery, when I said it, that, uh, when I said, hang on, hang on. When uh, I said, yeah. when I said he was there, I couldn't it's find it. Yeah. Logic. The brother, the brother, um, the brother, the Muslim defender, he found it, didn't he? Right? No, so he didn't. what's the problem here? We're working yeah. together, right? He found he it. He We're literally did not together. find it. What are you talking about? He literally he did. did not I find said it. The Surah, Surah 16, verse 25. He did. He found it. Oh my god, logic. Okay, I, I think that I think that that's that's good then. Um, uh, so we move on from this. We, we, I, I should, we, I sent a link. We got, yeah, we got one more. We got yeah. one more contradiction. We got one more contradiction. What's up, Sig? Sig's in the house. We got one more contradiction. Uh, uh, Amen podcast just brought up whether or not the Quran is fully detailed and explained about everything, or if, he, is, uh, or if he or if the Quran is clear, has some clear verses and some unclear. So, what is your you guys? I mean, Islamic defender, it sounds like you saw this yesterday. So, what is your response to that? So my response is to that. Let's uh, pull up the verses first of all, because um, uh, all right. I think this isn't like the exact wording. Like it's kind of like, but you you have to see the full verse for context. So for sure. All yeah. right. So can you pull up twelve one eleven life? Yeah. Appreciate you, man. I can't believe, man. I got a, I got a, I got a lot to talk to you about, man. You let you let Bob cook you, man. It's tough. It's tough right. day for you. Bell logic. By the way, I cooked you in a video. Like what I said, just don't forget him, man. One more time, man. <laughs> okay. The guy, the guy cooked him. <laughs> yeah. Bob one. Yeah, I, sent, I sent the link. You it's got you Bob guys have your responses. It's Bob Logic. <laughs> Bob one. We had no responses. I mean, let him tell it, man. All right. So there it is. So you got twelve one eleven. It says that in their stories is a lesson, All right? Can you zoom in? I, I can't really see that, yeah? Would you like me to zoom? Zoom in a little bit, please. Appreciate it. It's calm, fam. It's calm. All right. In their stories, yeah, there is truly a lesson, yeah, for people of reason. This message cannot be a fabrication, rather, yeah, a confirmation of previous revelation, a detailed explanation of all things, a guide, yeah, and a mercy for people of faith. All right, so that's the verse. It says that it's a detailed explanation of all things. Some things, life. Can I see why that's not a all things? You get all right. me? All no. things, you get me, fam? I get you. I'll man. explain why it's not a contradiction. Just because something is detailed doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean that some things cannot be unclear. Even though it's detailed, it's detailed in the way of guidance because guidance is quite clear. All right, beautiful. I like that point. Now, the verse says it is a detailed explanation of what life? All things, All everything. Things. So, everything. So that means the guidance, right? That means whatever else it talks about. It's a detailed explanation of everything, not just the guidance. Right? But just because, yeah, but just because something is detailed, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't necessarily mean something's like what I mean unclear is mm -hmm. that 
some things might not be understood in the same way. So listen, so the Quran is detailed, right? So we know the guidance. We know what uh, Allah says. Allah gives a clear guidance. Mm. But, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so here's an example. Here's something that's simply example. I'm going to show you an example where the Quran lacks detail, okay? And it has nothing to do with your lack of understanding. Like you are perfectly capable of reading and understanding what you, what is what I'm about to show you, and uh, or I'm about to ask you, and uh, and uh, but but it's it's just gonna lack detail. You won't be able to answer because the answer the detail is not there. Okay, for example, here's something simple. Um, Adam is it mentions Adam's wife, right? The Quran mentions Adam's wife, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. All right. So I don't wait. Where's this going though? I'm about to ask, man. Relax. No. I'm about to ask. I don't. Okay, I didn't get that. Though. All right. So, the Quran mentions that Adam had a wife. Yeah. What was Adam's wife's name? That doesn't necessarily mean if it doesn't say. Wait, wait. Are you saying it's a contradiction or it's not said? I'm saying it's not. I'm saying that that detail is not there. That's all I'm saying. Right. Well. I'm just saying, what weight should that carry? A detailed explanation on all things. It would already be known in traditions what her name is. Like, Allah doesn't necessarily doesn't need to say that. Nor does okay. he need to say the Pharaoh's name. Like, okay. how okay. important is it saying Adam's name? Because we know Adam's the first man. He had a wife, yes. But does that necessarily mean it holds any weight? Like, does it change anything? No, it doesn't change anything. That's what okay. I'm saying. It's like, so, that, that, so that's, that's not a good point. I'm just saying... So that's what you're saying. Respect. Yeah, does yeah. The Quran, does, the, does the Quran say that it gives detail? It's a detailed explanation of all things that's important, or does it say all things? All things God wants us to know. Yeah, like why would we need to necessarily can you, can know can that? You me, can you show me where it says that it's a detailed explanation of all things you need to know? Can you show me where it says that? <laughs> it's basically common sense, mate. <laughs> yeah, common sense, bro. Like that's not a good argument, man. So do you but guys like, see? Do you guys see the level of your argumentation? The level of your argumentation is, trust me, bro. That's just what it means. It's common sense. No, with all due respect, what we're saying is that because okay, let me ask you this. So, what would it change if Allah did say her name? Like, what does that really change? Does it, it make would, the story less? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the saying. claim of the Quran is that it is a detailed explanation of all things. So, if it mentions Adam's wife and also gives her name, that's an example of it being detailed. If it mentions Adam's wife yet doesn't give her name, that's an example of it not being detailed. Okay. Let's say why that's not because listen, maybe if it said like a prophet, they've said a prophet and did not say his name, you could argue that. Because that'll be like you could say that's like a fundamental part of the really? story. A prophet? Yeah, you're gonna say something, right? So okay, so let's go to where it mentions that prophets were sent to all their nations, right? Yeah. So a prophet is sent to all their nations, and it says that there are these prophets. Some of them are unnamed. You familiar with the verse? No, that's not what I meant. I mean, like, it says a specific prophet story in the same way you're talking about Eve. Because you're saying, you're saying when it talks about, like, what are you saying, man? You're saying that Allah should say all of their names in one text. Like, that's no, what, not. What, what I'm saying is, is that the Quran says, I, I, I think you're missing it. Yeah, no, I got what you said. I, you I you don't get, get it? it? Yeah, so I get the, it. But I'm okay, saying so, that's the, not, so, the Quran that's said, so the Quran says that it's a detailed explanation of all things, yes? Yeah. Okay, so I, as a reader, am expecting the Quran to be detailed about everything it talks about. Is that fair, or am I being unfair here? Well, I don't think you're being unfair, but I think it's like, with all due respect, I think it's not like you're, you're, uh, you're misunderstanding this. Because I'm saying if, if it gave like a clear explanation of her name, it doesn't say anything. Because even in Genesis, in some parts of it, it says that Adam had a wife. He says, like it says, it says some parts of it, like some parts of it, like some yeah, verses. Yeah, 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 exactly. It, that's the point. It says yeah. some parts of it, but it's not fully detailed. Some details are there, but not all the details are there. That's so, the point. The yeah. Quran, the Quran, well, I'm showing you, the Quran claims 
to give all the details. But we have examples in the Quran where it doesn't give all the details and only gives some. That's a contradiction. Well, like you could say that, I guess, from your perspective. But what I'm just saying and what me and Bob are saying is Bob's still in the stream, right? There you go. <laughs> yeah, help, help about Bob. <laughs> yes, right, Bob, right? Oh, it doesn't wait, matter yeah. if it says her name. Like that doesn't change anything. Yeah, um, I'm still here. What what um what the Quran is talking about, what God is talking about is all things in details is what God has revealed to us. Mm. Okay, in the Quran. God's mm. talking exactly. about in that sense. I love that. I love that. Everything that everything that he revealed to you in the Quran, he's detailed about. I agree with that hundred percent. So he revealed to you that Adam had a wife. Does he give you details about her? Yeah, but just the wife is enough. That's that detail alone is enough for us. So he's, not, yeah. so he's not fully detailed about everything he talks about. He's only he only gives some details about the things he talks about. <laughs> Wait, for, first of all, first of all, uh, Avery, you know what? Yes. Yes. So, for example, like the Quran, like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't say her name. But I'm saying what me and Bob have to, uh, what me and Bob are trying to understand is that we don't understand what weight this really carries because you're saying if like I'm a detail. I'm showing you a contradiction. I'm not saying yes, that it's you... anything theologically. I'm just showing you a contradiction. That's all. You know, you know what? This is a similar contradiction. Like, you know what you could have done instead of this? You could have used hadiths. You could have said, look, oh, look at these hadiths. Look, look you don't need to draw. Why? 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 No, 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 you... no, no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is God logic. Is, uh, me and Bob are saying that this isn't really the best argumentation. Because why? Hadith you haven't been able to tell... No, no. Because hadiths already tell... Her name, like, why would Allah necessarily need to say Beautiful. that? This is, I love what you just did. So, oh, no, I know what you're doing with this. Or, or, where am I going? T tell me if you, if you you're going to I'm say, going, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you some, uh, I'm gonna send you some ice cream. No, no, I know where you're gonna go with this, but I'll, 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 I'll let you say, I'll let, I'll let you say, I'll let you no, say. No, no, tell me, I'm curious. You can't do that to me now. I'm curious. Where, where was I going? <laughs> You're gonna say why this specifically isn't detailed and why you need like excuse me. Let me defend wait, that. Just wait, Bob, just let, tell him, let, just tell him, yeah. Yeah, a lot is talking about the Quran wait, only. Bob, hold on, bro. Where where was I going with this Islamic defendant? When you mentioned that you were some gonna say why this is specific. Not specific. No, okay, so no. Yeah, so what you say this no. is not specific. I'm trying to say. Oh, you you broke up a little bit. Are you what you're saying? Okay, this is so what I was saying. what you're saying is this isn't specific. Yeah. No, 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 no. What I was saying is, what I was going to go with this is that you're right. These details, a lot of these details, you will find in the Hadith narrations, in the Tafsir, and the Azbab al Nazul. You'll find it in other works, other literature, right? But you won't find it in the Quran. So that's the point. The point is, is that the Quran claims that the Quran is fully detailed about all things. So I shouldn't have to go outside of the Quran to find out these details that the Quran talks about. That's the point. Fair, yeah, I know, but I, I'm just saying, like me and Bob agree, these aren't the important details. Like I, I don't. I, yeah. look, I whether you think it's important details or not, that's not the, the that's not the argument. The argument is whether or not the details are there regardless, whether it's big details or little details. The Quran says it's detailed about it all, little and small, little and small, little, small and big. OK, it's detailed about it all. So something as small as Adam's wife's name should be there because the Quran well, says. Oh, my there. God. Oh, my God. Avery, Avery, Avery. <laughs> What I mean, come on, man. What what's in your head, man? Come on. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can you move on and bring a better argument, bro? This no, I need y'all to refute this. Bro, Wait, man, bro, man, I, I refute you. We just, in your we last just video, told bro. you. We just told you. God is talking about what He has revealed in the Quran. The, those details. The God doesn't need to mention yeah. Adam's wife's name. Just yeah, Adam's wife. Right, right, no, here's, here's, an Here, here's an example. Here's an example. Life, can you go to chapter 17, verse 1? Yep. 17, 1, on the way. Hey, I'm listening to this barbecue, man, and uh, I can't wait <laughs> to get a plate. So Bob says that the Quran is detailed about everything that's revealed in the Quran, which I, I love that point. I, I understand that fully. 
He so. means important guidance that God sent out to mankind. Oh, he said, he no, it doesn't say that. It's yeah, but that's a, what you mean. Right? Well, it's an explanation of all things that's revealed in the Quran. All right. We're going to read this verse real quick, Bob. You listening? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right. So it says this. It says, glory be to the one who took his servant. That's in brackets, so that's not there. Uh, by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque whose surroundings we have blessed so that we may show him some of our signs. Indeed, he alone is the all hearing, all seeing. So many problems with this, but I'm gonna just keep it simple. Here's my question. It says, glory be to the one who took his servant by night. Who is the servant? Okay, can I say why well, this is not a good question? It's, 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 well, because, no, no, wait, wait a second, Bob. I, I can handle this. You know why? Listen, <laughs> you know who the Quran is being recited to? First of all, who is it being recited to? Who is it being recited to? It's being recited to uh, to Muhammad from the angel Gabriel. So, of course, who is it talk? Who else is it talking about? And if you go back to, like, the previous verses, of course, it's talking about Muhammad, dude. Really? Well, this is, yeah, this, is this is, all right. This is literally verse one, so there are no previous verses. It's verse one in, in chapter 17. Can you show me, because you're saying it's talking about Muhammad. I heard Bob say it's about, it's about Muhammad. Can you show me in the Quran that this is talking about Muhammad? Where do you get that from? What, who's, no, who's it, the it says, it's a, No, I'll tell you what. Because obviously, man, obviously, with all, with, all, with all due respect, bro, but this obviously would have to be talking about Muhammad because it's Why? being exactly. Really? Exactly. In the yes. next verse, in the very next verse, Moses is mentioned. So how is it? How do you how do you know it's not Moses? <laughs> because that's not in Moses' story. Well, did, did, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise. Did, 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 did Moses ever really got, got from Mecca to Jerusalem? Yeah, of course. Did, right? did Muhammad? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> show, me, show, me, show me that from the Quran. <laughs> it's known in a tra a tradition. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait Bro, is that man. in the, is that in the Quran? <laughs> Does it need to be really? Yes, because it's the... detailed about all things. So, is this talking about Muhammad? If it is, yeah, show we that understand Quran. that that's Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's how that's how we understand it. That's how? a detail. Wait, 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 do you, wait, wait. Do you <laughs> understand it from the Quran, or do you understand it outside of the Quran? <laughs> Every can I can I refute that? One second? No, hold on, wait. Listen, listen. Every if it's, one at yeah. a time, one at a time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all talking over each other. I asked yeah. a very straightforward question. <laughs> Does it say that this is Muhammad in the Quran? Yes or no? No, it doesn't. No. All right. So where do you get it from that this servant is Muhammad? Because it says there. From Masjid al Haram, sorry, um, Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa. Who is in Masjid al Haram? Who is that person? Tell you, tell me. Where does it say that? Who that person is, and where that? First of all, where does it say where that is? Avery, Avery, if you read this verse, you will know straight away it's Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Well, I I'm reading it straight away, and I don't see it mentioned Muhammad. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Avery. Oh yeah, my this goodness. is literally gold, bro. This is common gold. Because this listen, gold. it's unclear. It's if it's unclear, then why did anyone not interpret it as another prophet? Like, come on, bro. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. This but, is but, 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 bro. but there are people that interpret this as another prophet because <laughs> no man, you have to actually use use like Sahih um hadith, man. Ah, you gotta use, use Sahih hadith. No, so no, no, Quran, that's not what I mean. your, no, 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 no. I meant to, to prove it's a, someone thought it's another prophet. See, see, this is wait, what I'm saying. In order for you, to, no, prove, wait, you, to, you in order for yeah. you, in order for you to prove that it's Muhammad, you need the hadith. No, I did not say it's that. Wrong. Okay, so, okay, so, okay stop, it's stop. It's everybody, it's stop. Everybody, relax. This, yeah, is okay. what, this is what you guys have to do. Since you just said no, I don't have to use the hadith to prove this is Muhammad. Prove to me from the Quran that the. Servant that went by night is Muhammad. Show me that from the Quran. Oh, give me five seconds, man. I need to look seconds. up the like, context of the verses. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Avery. Wait, wait, wait. What, what was Avery. the surah again? It's 17, verse 1. Okay, okay, okay. Bob, did you, while he go, gets that, did you want to say something? Yeah, what I'm saying is, 
What about if we use the hadith? What's the problem, mate? Because in the Quran, it does say if you um obey Allah and obey the messenger. Yeah, yeah. So what? Well, so what's the problem there? Uh, yeah, the problem is, is that this proves that the Quran itself is not fully detailed. And what you well, said, if you say, if, uh, if, let me if, let if me answer Quran your question says, in full, Bob. Let me answer your question in full. The Quran said that this book is a fully detailed explanation of everything. You said <laughs> that this means that the Quran is fully detailed about the things it reveals. So yes, just right, yeah. so, so right here it reveals that a servant was taken by night by Allah and you know taken from one mosque to the furthest mosque. This is what was revealed. So you said that it's detailed about what Allah revealed in the Quran. So I'm talking That's about right. this. Does it does it so the question is does it tell you who the servant is? Does it tell you where he went specifically? Does it give you these details? It should based on that criteria. If it doesn't, if you have it to go to the hadith, if if you have to go to the hadith to get these details, then that shows that that Quran verse, and even according to your own criteria, Bob, is false. That it's not fully detailed. That's not true because uh, in the Quran it says obey Allah, and obey the Messenger, and the hadith we know is actually from the from the sayings of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it's still. Uh, the verse that says obey Allah and obey the messenger that's also part of the details of the Quran. Are there, so are the, hadith, is the hadith the Quran? Is the hadith the Quran? Yeah, but Wait. in the Quran it says, said, said, yeah. obey Allah and obey the messenger. So the we hadith know the, uh, the hadith are the sayings of Muhammad. So what's are the, the problem hadith the Quran? <laughs> but whose who's speech is and, in the Quran? Answer, answer, answer the question. Are the Hadiths the Quran? Yes or no, bro? No, they're not. Does the Quran say that the Hadiths are fully detailed or does it say that the Quran itself is fully detailed? The Quran says the Quran itself is fully detailed. Thank you. So okay. we're not talking about Hadiths. We're talking okay. about the Quran. Quran. Let, me, let me talk, please. You just but did in the Quran. In the Quran, it says, "Obey Allah and obey the Messenger." So where do we get this. the Messenger speech from? The Hadith. No, for, I, I, no, no worries, no problem. My my only point is that the Quran, as you agreed, says that it itself <laughs> is fully detailed. The Quran. The no, I got the answer after you're done saying. Right, go this ahead. Thing. You got the answer. Go ahead. So you got okay. from the Quran yeah. that the that yeah, Muhammad yeah, course, is that Okay, go ahead. Of course, of course, of course. So first right. of all. You even you recognize no, this, right? So oh, first, oh, wait, can, can I say it? Listen, so first yeah, of all, uh, 17 verse 1 says, Glory to him who sent his uh, servant on the night journey, right? So, listen, so if verse 2 says, And we gave Moses a scripture and it talks about Noah and all the other prophets, then who is it talking to? Who, That's who a is great it relating to? No, 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 let me show you another verse, man. Let me show That's you another a great verse. Question. So Can you guys hear me? Oh, no, nah, bro, I'm not done. I'm not done. Brother, uh, I, was, I was gonna finish it. It, says, wait, it, it talks about time. Noah and it talks about the other ones. It and it's saying to Muhammad, it's, Moses it's really and, the other pro and Israel, right? So, who mm -hmm. is that servant? <laughs> it's relating to Muhammad, bro. Who, who, it, uh, peace be upon him. Who else is it talking about, bro? Show bro. me where. It's, well, show me. You got to show me that. You said it's in the Quran, so show me that. Avery, do you believe? Do you Wait, believe Bob, Moses? Bob, 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 Sorry, let, can you hear me? Let Islamic defender do this. Let him do this. Can you so hear me? Up. Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro, you gotta wait your turn, Muhammad. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Bob, you know, wait your turn as well. Islamic right, defender right. is dealing with this directly. So now, right, no problem. Islamic defender, you said that you can show me from the Quran that the servant is Muhammad. Without your assumption, without your bias or whatever. So show me from the Quran. That's all I'm asking. Oh, I, I can do that easily. So when it says um, in the first verse, from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque. And ah. it, so it says from the sacred mosque. And where would be the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque? This would be where, talking where? about Masjid al-Harami. Uh, and even the Arabic says it. I'm pretty right. sure. So it mentions Masjid al-Haram. Uh, al uh, where does it where but the farthest mosque? Where is that? That's in Jerusalem. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. First of all, first, first of all, no, 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 no. I'll come to that. But you were saying it doesn't say Muhammad. Uh, where uh, is Masjid? Where? No, no, no. Where, where's Masjid Al Harami? Who where else is, would this be talking? Where, where is? Yeah, where is that? You don't know this. Where, where does the Quran tell you? It's in Mecca. It's in Who Mecca. Who are you 
bro, with all the respect, man, they're talking about Mecca, bro. Dude, Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Dude, dude, no, Masjid yeah. Halal Arami is literally the name for, for um, the, the mosque me, in Mecca. Me, no, bro, dude, know this. Show yes, me the verse. Dude, this guys, is embarrassing. Guys, with all the respect, guys, man, this is guys. embarrassing. If it's embarrassing, it should be easy for you to show me the verse. I just did. It says Masjid Al Harami. No, you, no, pause. You're assuming that Masjid Al Haram is in Mecca. Show yes. me from the Quran. It is. Every Masjid Muslim knows it. Dude, stop interrupting. Show me from the Quran that Masjid Al Haram is in Mecca. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> So you so don't believe so Masjid, Masjid, so you Masjid, 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 Masjid is in Palestine too? Yeah, you're gonna have to show the verses. Yeah. Where is it then, Avery? You Where can't is it? show everything from Quran, bro. You have Boom. Quran bro. that is very, very big. If you if only the important Quran, stuff, as most show you everything from the Quran. Muhammad, that's, 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 that's the point, though. That's, that's the, the point. point. Beautiful, Muhammad. No, no, no. You can't. Wait, Muhammad. Listen to me. Listen to me. I am. I am. I'm about to let you cook. Listen, I'm about to let you go. Okay. I just want you to repeat what you just said because what you just said I will, I will. was important. Go ahead. Okay. The Quran, you... Example, God says in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, you have to pray. How to pray? You can't exactly. get all the teachers in the Quran how to pray, bro. Exactly. If, you, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to tell you everything in Quran, you want thousands of Quran. That's not how it's work. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Obey Allah and obey his messenger. Uh -huh. So you have to obey his messenger. And how to obey his messenger? How the messenger says, how the messengers do. And that's we have the hadith, we have we have Islamic scholars, we have tafsir, and everything they yeah. explain how to pray, where is Masjid al Haram, where is exactly. Masjid al Aqsa. We have Islamic scholars. Beautiful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could say. How many rak'at mm -hmm. to praise in Duhur? How many rak'at in Asir? Where mm -hmm. is Masjid Al-Aqsa? Where is Masjid Al-Aram? Where is yeah. Masjid Al-Nabawi? Allah mm -hmm. Subhanahu could say that. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. want, if Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants to say everything you're asking for, okay, mm -hmm. we need thousands and thousands and thousands of Quran. Right, and right, right. How, and the same thing in Bible. Wait, wait, Paul, Paul's here. Paul's here. That, 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 tell that, that, everything that, in the Bible, right? Yeah, Ma Muhammad, that, that's, yes. I, I, appre I appreciate it. I would, say, I would say thank you for letting me in. I'm, uh, of course. I, I of course. see you and Sheikh Uthman. I'm living in Denmark, so I appreciate oh, that you let awesome. me in. Sorry for my English. I speak Arabic. I speak Danish. I speak Your English is perfect. Your but, English uh, is perfect. I'm not so good to, to speak English, so sorry for your, Eng your, your English is good. It's good enough. Yes, so, look, you. What, what you just said, what you just said, Muhammad, was beautiful i love the honesty and that is exactly what my point was my point was is that the quran is not fully detailed like there's it is, so many it is. Bob, Bob, do, don't cut me off right now let me let me work so it's not fully detailed there's certain things that you have to go outside of the quran in order to get this information like what you said prayer yes uh, from what Hajj and all this kind of stuff you get it yes, from the, the hadith the yeah you get it sure no problem Yes, my pro that, my point, my, my whole point, let me finish. Yes. My entire point was that the Quran itself is not fully detailed. It doesn't have all of that information in it. And so you have to go outside of the Quran to the tafsirs, Azbab al-Nazul, to the hadiths, the sayings of Muhammad outside of the Quran in order to get certain details that the Quran talks about. So my whole point is that the Quran verse says that the Quran is a fully detailed explanation of all things. And the whole point is that that's a contradiction. What you just helped me prove is that we don't get all the details from the Quran. We have to go outside of it, which proves my point. That's just, okay, Avery, can I come in? This is what we're saying in the Quran. It says... Obey Allah, obey the messenger. Okay? So you have to also take that verse and connect it with all things in details. Yes. Because um, for us, for us to understand uh, the prayers and how to live life, yeah? God says you have to listen to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the, the hadith is the sayings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of that is connected with all things in details with obey Allah and the messenger. 
you're missing that uh, th that part you want to just look at oh all things in details only but you're you're disconnecting the verse where it says you have to um uh, obey allah and, and the messenger you have to connect that one as well I to get to the picture there. of the hadith as well yeah you know what I mean? So guys, so guys, we're we're approaching two hours. And I told like you know, like we we're gonna do this two hours. So um oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate right. each and every one of you guys coming. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you come you're 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 late, Muhammad. We've been here for the, <laughs> we're at an hour like and fifty six minutes. <laughs> I know and the time yeah, I say one thing after yeah. it's but no, no, we're we're the the last points the last points were made, man. The last points were made. We I really got to shut this down because I want people to be able to watch this and come back to it later. But I do appreciate uh, all three of you guys coming, Muhammad. I wish you joined earlier. Uh, next, you know, yeah. stay tuned for next because I stream often, Muhammad. So you're okay. more than welcome to come and and Thank join you. in conversations and everything. Okay. Uh, thanks, Bob, for showing up, man. Holding it down. Got a new nickname, Bob Logic. Right. <laughs> And then we got Islamic Defender that came in. We appreciate you guys uh, having these conversations without, with respect and just having a good time. It was fun. It was a fun time. Uh, so with that said, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to drop before you guys the, down. Before well, the stream ends, is, just before the stream ends, can, can you just react to like a 50-second video like that I made? I, not right now. Uh, not right. Uh, Maybe on the, on, the, on the next stream. Send me on the next, on the next stream. I will. I promise. Come on, Avery, Avery, Avery and Live. I just, Avery and Live, I want to say thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak. Sure. I appreciate that. When and, is um, the next stream? When? And also, uh, my bro also, my brother, uh, Islamic Defender, thank you very much for being my on my side. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, so we're, we're, I'm going to be streaming again later okay, on today. Okay. What time is it for you in Denmark? Denmark now is uh, 12. Uh, see later, guys. Bye bye. I'm going. See you later. Bye it's bye bye. It's 12 p.m. Yes. Okay. Okay. And it's three. It's 3 p.m. for me right now. So I'm I'm going to be streaming three hours from now. Again, it's going to it's going to be about the scientific miracles uh, in the Quran where Ali Dawa said that it's been debunked. And so we're inviting Muslims to come up and see if they believe if there are scientific miracles in the Quran or if they agree with Ali Dawa that that's not a good argument. So we're inviting Muslims to come and talk about that if you're if you want. You're yes. more than welcome. Uh, uh, so that, that that'll be in. Again, why you do not uh, invite uh, Sheikh Othman also? You speak. He's more. He's he's more than welcome, and, and any uh, anybody is welcome. Uh, Sheikh Uthman, Ali yeah. Dawa, the guy, the guys from Hamza's Din, uh, they're all welcome to join our streams. Like the invitation is open. Like it's it's not. I don't have any of them blocked. It's public. You know, everybody's welcome to come. Everybody. It sounds very good. Mm -hmm. yes. So, so if you have, if you are in touch with any of them, or you see their videos, you can comment. Hey, <laughs> it's the first time in my life I can get on the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no worries. No, yeah, well, that's a good, good first time. But yeah, they're they're all invited, bro. So, but yeah, in three hours I will be streaming again with that stream. Uh, and so I have a couple of yeah. brothers with me. So you're more than welcome to join me. In three hours, and unfortunately, I will sleep. I will sleep now because the clock is is too much here in Denmark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah. all right. Well, well, I'll I'll probably be streaming. What's today? Today's Wednesday. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. So if you subscribe to the channel, man, and, and look out for it, it, you'll get notified. Okay. Okay. Inshallah ta'ala. All right. Thank yes. you. I appreciate you, Muhammad. With that being said, you guys, God bless you. Uh, there's only one God who's triune, right? Uh, who in the person of the Son came down, died for our sins, and rose again on the third day with power and authority, reconciling us back to God. And he's the only way. Repentance and faith in him is the way to salvation. So let him do a work in you and submit to him as your Lord. And that way we'll be reconciled to the Father. With that being said, we out. <laughs>